happy to officially say goodbye to 2023, and we know it's no. been a, a, a warm year, right? It's been a really warm year. <laughs> All our overnight, a lot of our overnight lows this fall and winter were above average, and even our temperatures here, I think we've set about 18 new records so far in Rochester itself for That's this a lot. year for temperatures yeah. at least. So yeah. It's been a lot, Brock. You so. bet. Yeah, we are seeing warmer temperatures right now for this time of year, or as we make our way to 2024. 31 degrees here in Rochester. Lots of overcast skies at the moment, and we are seeing a little bit of our feels like temperature that's going to be cooler than the actual air temperature right now, thanks to those north northwestern winds for us right here. So we are going to be seeing temperatures into the 30s for us around the region, and we are going to be seeing a lot of those wind speeds going to have a lot more um, power to them because they're coming out of the north northwest and we're going to be seeing a lot of our wind speeds right now into the mid teens for us and into the lower 20s around the region just in the last half hour or so. So our wind gusts through over the course of tonight, we're going to be going from 24 miles per hour here during this hour to the upper teens. And then we are going to be dropping off to not have very sus high sustained wind gusts throughout tomorrow morning. So that's going to be the good thing. Our feels like temperatures should get a little bit better, but we are going to be still a little bit above average for us here. A lot of cloud cover around our region, really I-90 South right now, according to our surface map right now. We are going to have a lot of the snow showers that are going to move past our region and into central Iowa for us. Some of us may have seen a few flurries for today, but as we get into this weekend, we are going to be seeing a chance for some stray flurries as we go from Saturday night into Sunday morning. And then by next week, we are going to be seeing some milder temperatures and more sunshine in the forecast. So tracking this out for you tonight, we are going to be seeing those winds of the north northwest keeping our temperatures into the lower 30s for us around the region cloud co coverage is sticking around for us across the region temperatures into the upper 20s and as we go through the early morning hours we could be seeing a clearing in according to this model run for our cloud coverage here in my tomorrow afternoon and evening we could be seeing temperatures into the mid to upper 30s for our high across the, much of our viewing area for tomorrow so temperatures will be above average again for us by the time we get into saturday morning we are going to be seeing temperatures into the lower 30s, just where we are right now, and more winds out of the northwest for us, or to the west for us here. So our straight snow chance happens on Saturday night into Sunday. These are two models showing what could happen here. There's not a lot of agreement yet in terms on where the snow is going to fall. Basically, our first model here is showing some snowfall potentially along the some of our Mississippi River counties. So I would think this is more to a dusting for us here, but probably we could see the chance for some flurries into Saturday night into Sunday morning too. And as we make our way to 2024, we are going to be seeing above average temperatures into the about 14 degrees above average for tomorrow, but sticking anywhere from about seven to 10 degrees above average as we make our way into the new year on Monday here. So that's something I look forward to, I guess, is warmer temperatures. Not going to feel exactly like winter just yet. Even through tonight, we'll see temperatures into the lower 30s and even into the upper 20s as we make our way towards midnight. And for tomorrow, we'll see some decreasing clouds into the afternoon hours for more sunshine and above average temperatures into the upper 30s for us here. So over the course of this week, we are going to be seeing some more sunshine as we make our way into the new year. And we are going to be seeing some straight chance for some snow into this weekend too. So a little bit of snow, more sunshine for us, Brock. Well, for people looking to ring in the new year by being out and about, not too bad as long as you dress for kind of normal weather conditions. It's not going to be like yeah. Christmas where some people were getting by with shorts and a t-shirt. Shorts, t-shirt, and an umbrella for that. <laughs> what Christmas. a year it's been, right? It's been kind of crazy for our weather here, at least. You bet. All right, David, we appreciate that. We hope you stay with us. We'll be right back.